What's up everybody? Today I want to share with you a really quick and beginner friendly tutorial on how to use Ether Delta. Now Ether Delta is one of the most highly used decentralized exchanges that can let you trade your ERC20 tokens. If you don't know what ERC20 tokens are, these are your Ethereum based tokens that most ICOs offer these days. So once you get your ICO tokens, Ether Delta is one of the very first places that lets you trade them. So if you're trying to trade them really fast after you get them, this is where you go. However, Ether Delta is admittedly really confusing to use. The first time I looked at it, I was like, nope, way too complicated. I'm just going to wait until it hits another exchange before I trade it. But finally, I hunkered down and decided to take a deeper look into it and figured it out. So I want to share with you how I did it in a very standard way using MetaMask as well. So just to look at MetaMask, MetaMask is an Ethereum wallet that kind of works with your Chrome browser. Um, you can get it at MetaMask.io, Chrome extension. It's going to give you the scary warning that's going to change all your website's data. But that's pretty standard if you do some Googling. A lot of Chrome plugins ask for that permission, so I'm not personally too worried about it. So once you set it up, go to the sign-up process, you can send some Ethereum to it, and also use it to participate in ICOs or transfer tokens to it. And you can go through the add token process. I'm not going to go through how to use MetaMask, but basically set that up. So after you've set up your MetaMask, you can go to etherdelta.com and take a look at the whole interface. There's a lot going on, um, but before I dive into it, I want to show you this help. They have really useful guides. You can look at the guides. You can go on Reddit. And also, I want to mention that you should definitely try things out with small amounts before diving in and throwing in hundreds or thousands of dollars worth of tokens into this platform. So a lot of stuff going on, like I said earlier, you can ignore most of it, like price charts, trades, updates, volume. Basically, the important parts is this drop down menu where you can choose your token. Please be careful about the one you're choosing because a lot of them look alike. Also, the balance, order book, new order are important. And my transactions is just to let you look at what you've done. So balance is three things going on, deposit, withdraw, and transfer. So that's pretty self-explanatory, but there's two columns here, right? The wallet and Ether Delta. This is automatically filled by what's in your MetaMask wallet, so that's pretty cool. The Ether Delta is the balance in your smart contract, so you need to move stuff over here in order to buy or sell, right? That makes sense. You also need to have some Ethereum in this place in order to fund these transactions in the smart contract because it requires gas, if you've heard about gas before. And so pretty self-explanatory, you can type in 100. I'm going to move 100 from here to here, so this becomes 200. Click Deposit. It opens a MetaMask pop-up. Press Submit. And once you refresh, it will go over here to 200 after a little bit. You can do the same with ETH. Withdraw, similar idea. Move it from here to here. And Transfer is just an interface to let you to move it from your wallet address to another one, like let's say on Exodus or Parity or whatever. And so when taking a look at order book and new order, you need to keep in mind that there's two types of orders like normal, market order and limit order. And this is the whole like maker or taker model that you should look up if you don't know already. If you're taking from the order book, like let's say you want to execute immediately, let's say you really want to buy 200 XNN right now, then you can click here and click buy, um, change this, 200, and this amounts to 0 0.006 ETH. And also, if you want 500, then you have to manually first take this, 258, and then take the rest from this second higher price. It's not going to fill for you automatically. You have to do it separately. A little bit of a hassle, I know. Similarly, if you want to sell, you go to these green ones and you can do it like such. Now, if you want to place a new order into the book and wait for it to execute, wait for people to take different orders, wait for the price to vary until it hits the price you want, you can do it as such. Like, um, I have 100 to sell, and then you can put in the ratio that you want it to hit. It's going to autofill this for you. Expires means how long it's going to stay in the order book until it automatically expires. Either somebody takes it and it executes or it expires. And this is number of blocks, so it's 14 seconds per block. You can do the math. 10,000 is roughly 1.6 days. You can add more zeros if you want it to stay on a long time. And this is going to stay there as a limit order 
I believe there's less fees for the limit orders than if you just straight up take from the book like I showed you earlier. Um, once again, please go to the help section if you have any questions or ask me below. If this was helpful, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one.